it was an unusual event. Waves created by Pacific storms combined with an early morning high tide pushing ocean water over protective coastal riprap and onto Imperial Beach streets. The rough water created some anxious moments for resident Sean Gould. He spent part of the morning rearranging sandbags that had been tossed around by the surf. So I just pulled one out to cover my neighbor's uh, front door so they don't get blasted out. Gould has come to grips with the reality of living along Imperial Beach's Seacoast Drive. We live on the wilderness. This is the edge. This is the edge. The ocean's going to win. You know, and we know unless you're living in a cave and in denial, you know, global warming exists, the tides are coming up. Imperial Beach Mayor Serge Dedina got a taste of the high waves. His pants soaked when he stood a bit too close to a seawall on the southern tip of Seacoast Drive. He says city officials knew this was coming and they were prepared. What we're learning is that this is kind of the new normal. Um, and, you know, with a little bit of surf and a little bit of tide, we're seeing a lot more coastal flooding than we used to. The impact today did affect some streets and condos on the coastal road at the southern end of Imperial Beach. The crashing waves were spectacular, but street flooding was minimal. Once that water comes over the seawall and into the streets, it still needs to go somewhere. Much of it ends up right here in the Tijuana River estuary. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.